Hello everyone, uh, Slime Trading here. Today is Monday, May 13th. I'll be going on a recap for today. Um, so today, uh, I continue my stop trigger order to enter my trades. And using mainly the 9 EMA um, reversal strategy, um, and then using the 9 EMA on the higher time frame as my target. Um, so let's get started with a few examples here. Um, so AKTS uh, was the first one um, on my list. So as you can see here, um, it was trailing up. Um, this was like a quick scalp um, because it felt a little strong, um, but it hit. So there was a two minute um, 90 MA break here. So I went ahead and short, and then I covered uh, at that five minute uh, target test. Uh, because it had a wick, I went ahead and stopped out break even uh, on my other half, uh, which was a seven dollar winner. So it was just a quick little scalp, uh, and when when it pushes back down and right back up, um, and then break above the the prior support, uh, I usually don't like those moves, and usually it becomes a, a squeeze afterwards. So I stopped out there. Um, the next trade was Max R. Uh, MAXR. So MAXR had this um, support here at 755. You can see, had a long cut and then a handle break. I went ahead and started a little early there uh, before the break uh, because they have SSR on. So you can only short on the ask. So I was on the ask, try to get in, and my risk was initially this uh, handle here. And then if you can see, this also was a 15 minute break. So this is a 9 EMA. <clears throat> so 9 EMA and then uh, 9 EMA support break plus the the nine, uh, 15 minute 9 EMA break. And then I think it went, the target was the hourly. Uh, so 720 here was the hourly target. Uh, it, it reached it, um, but then I was out when it hit this support here, which was the prior uh, resistance in the morning. So when it hit there, I just kind of took it off. Um, but you can see it, it um, once the 755 broke, it became part resistance, and then now it's trending back down to the, hit that hourly uh, 90 MA. Um, so that was a $60 winner on the short side. Um, the next trade was OPTT. So OPTT had a morning, you can see in the morning it had this uh, six, 265 area as support here. It broke it on um, my slippage uh, to enter the trade was a little high. So I got in, um, I didn't get the best entry. So I went ahead and just took profits there. It was just a $12 winner. Um, but as you can see, I think this was the five minute trigger. So here's the five minute. Uh, it broke the 5 minute 90 EMA um, and then went ahead and touched the not 9 minute EMA 15 minute chart. So that was another example of the 90 EMA. Uh, then I took another loss, I took a loss here um, towards the afternoon. I was watching, I was watching this uh, 255 area. So you can see it became there was like lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. It break this 255 area um, briefly and it didn't have any volume coming in to, to break it. And another thing to look out for was because the the hourly chart, uh, it was really close. So that's why it potentially didn't work as well because the hourly chart was just a few, uh, 248 and then the break of 255. So there wasn't any uh, meat there. So I could have uh, avoided this by looking at the larger time frame and that the target uh, wasn't attractive. Um, and potentially that's why it kind of held the bounce off the 60 minute chart. Um, the next trade was QCOM. So QCOM um, had a good entry here, uh, but I accidentally I sold half and then asked me sold my whole position. Um, but pretty much this was a one minute reversal. So here's the one minute 90 EMA. 
Uh, and then there was a slight cup and handle here. You can see that and then that little wick. So it broke there, uh, plus the 9 EMA. I uh, went ahead and started short there. Um, I took took some profits off um, the five minute. So here's the five minute. It retested. It bounced a little bit. Um, I took took it off uh, half there, but then I accidentally hit my hockey again, and I took the whole position off. Uh, so this eventually just broke through that five minute and pretty much uh, went all the way down to the broke the 15 minute as well. Uh, the next trade was a long position and there was a Zion. So Zion here had a, I was interested because it had like a multi-day um, break. So you can see this multi-day here, um, flag, and it was breaking above that multi-day flag. Um, and as well as this intraday um, cup and handle or flag. So you can see it's forming this cup handle and I went, went ahead and went long there with my stop here um, and then um, I just sold along uh, this breakout here um, and then just stop out the rest there I could have trailed um, the five minute um, but then it would have stopped me out probably here or take it break even and then potentially get some of these meat here uh, but I was thinking about playing something here but I didn't see like a defined pattern that I like um, I think maybe if if it broke and held, held above this 1295 area because it's consolidation it broke held and potentially you could buy there uh, maybe a flag but I didn't really see much of a pattern here it kind of just squeezed right through uh, to 1350 so um, those are a few examples of uh, playing the 9 EMA, um, shorting extended 9 EMA on the shorter time frame, and then using the higher time frame as the target. Um, and pretty much, uh, I trade mainly these uh, strategies. So this cup and handle or flag break uh, when the con um, when the 15 minute, five minute is not uh, overextended and the 9 EMA like, cup and handle, uh, inverted cup and handle um, extension break um, of the one minute, five minute, and using either the 15 minute or hourly as the target. Um, so as always, I uh, hope everyone had a good uh, Monday. Um, it was actually a slow day today. Um, hopefully the market gets picked back up tomorrow um, and have some few runners. So um, as always, thank you for watching. And if you enjoy my content, don't for hit, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye. -bye.